Hey everyone, we are back again with another video. Okay, hi everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new here, hello, my name is Lillian. Today I'm back again with another video, and in this one, we are taking a look at the massive project that, that the Ghanaian government is building. I think the government of Ghana is obsessed with these two sectors. My observation health and education is something that they take over serious. Like I've always stated that i think the security they are doing well but ghanaians contribute to that sector they are not overworking their police but when it comes to health and education the government is putting in her all the government is putting in all the resources into this now today we are going to the ashanti region and also to the eastern region eburi to be precise all right so if you have more information about these two hospitals do not hesitate to bring them on here at the comment section and of course first have i said you should please subscribe in case i haven't said so please hit the subscription button and of course do it to like this video now i'm confused where should we go as a mother as a woman as a black woman let's go to the ashanti region first because this is for the women only we uh, would like us to go there first take a look before we come back to the general one so first off let's go to the ashanti region da -da. imagine a hospital struggling to provide care for mothers and their newborns this was the reality at the kovwanochi teaching hospital in ghana until a recent development that has got everyone clapping their hands in gratitude to the ghana government the Ghanaian government has released funds to complete the 900-bed capacity maternity unit at the Konfuanochi Teaching Hospital. The Ghanaian government has released 14 million euros to complete the 900-bed capacity maternity unit at the Konfuanochi Teaching Hospital. This isn't just any maternity ward, it's a game changer. We are talking nearly 10 operating theatres, 28 consultation rooms specifically designed for mothers and children, and dedicated emergency diagnostic services. This state-of-the-art facility will even boast of laboratories, scanning equipment and training rooms to empower future generations of healthcare professionals. The impact of this project will be profound. Health professionals predict a dramatic improvement in maternal and child health care across Ghana. This new unit will significantly reduce overcrowding, which is a major concern at the existing facility. Congestion not only creates discomfort but also increases the risk of transmission through newborns. Storage isn't just about bricks and mortar. It's a testament to Ghana's unwavering commitment to progress. The completion of this project coincides with the 25th anniversary of Otunfo Osai Tutu, a powerful symbol of Ghana's heritage and dedication to its people's well-being. This is a story of African development in action. It's about tangible improvement in the lives of ordinary Ghanaians, a state-of-the-art maternity block, upgraded facilities and hopefully an influx of new equipment. These advancements will have a lasting impact on the health and well-being of countless mothers and babies. Ghana's strong commitment to healthcare is a cornerstone of this progress. The country invests heavily in its medical infrastructure and personnel, showing a system that prioritizes the well-being of its citizens. This commitment, coupled with international partnerships and ongoing development initiatives, paves the way for advancements. This is a very good development. I wish I have a picture of its completion because this was when the project was kickstarting. I can't wait to see the full, the complete video on this project. I would like to see. This is just to add to to what they already have on ground it is a good thing these videos have nothing to do with politics okay darling go on ahead and make the best decision for a better and bigger ghana because i want to sit down here talking about bigger bigger projects so so these videos are not to change your opinion your political opinion focus on your focus follow your instincts and follow where we are going to get to a better Ghana. So if I'm showing you these videos, I'm not saying it was built by a particular government in power. Because it is built by that government in power, you should make that decision or don't make that decision. Please follow your heart. Please, okay? Follow your heart. And keep the criticism coming. All right? My heart goes out to our leaders anyway because it's not easy. It's not easy. E? 
to lead Ghana to lead Ghanaians hmm. all right so first uh so first please and so please if you live around Konfano <laughs> see pronunciation at the Ashanti region please let me see if you have any update from that hospital i would like to see some of these places i would love to visit i would like to see give me update if there's anything you want to tell me tell me and of course with that being said i think it's time for us to go to Eburi, another part of ghana that i so much love because of course i'm a lover of nature let's go take a look at this 40 bed capacity hospital built by the government of Ghana for the people of Ghana. Quality health service has been the first aim of every government in Ghana. So Ghana is building another impressive hospital in every in the eastern region of Ghana. This hospital facility is going to provide Ghanaians all around the country, particularly those in the eastern region with quality and affordable health care, as well as form a key component of government strategy to improve the overall health system within the region. In hospital project that is going to serve as an essential component for the health care system of the east Eastern region as well as make the Ghanaian health sector one of the rapidly improving sectors in the country. Ghana has spent over millions of dollars of its taxpayers' money in a desperate attempt to modernize and improve the nation's health care system and in the process has unleashed a massive power of mega and ultra-modern hospital projects, which have been strategically planted in every region of the country. Under the Agenda 111 Hospital Project to other independent and specialized hospital projects Ghana has shown its keen enthusiasm in making the country one of the best Medicare centers in West Africa. Well, government has unveiled another massive and extremely needed project that is going to strengthen and solidify its healthcare improvement strategy. This project is none other than the state-of-the-art a brief government hospital. The Aburi Government Hospital is an upcoming state-of-the-art hospital situated in the heart of Aburi in the Equipment South Municipal this grand hospital project is going to be a game changer for most people in the region seeking proper timely and affordable health care. You see after this a pre-government hospital is successfully completed it would come with a 40 bed capacity male and female ward as well as staff accommodation amongst others the construction of the hospital at the site of the Presbyterian clinic will replace the existing facility the whole supply of medical doors windows and Williams have followed a strict quality control from production to installation to ensure an excellent result in line with international and local standards. The current contractor handling the project assured the president that the project would be completed on time as scheduled since there hasn't been any setbacks since they began construction commended. The amazing project is currently under construction and is about 99 completed and anticipated to be inaugurated soon upon its completion. The hospital will have exclusive medical gas systems and staff residents. Oh, okay. Now you see, in Ghana you have variety of options to choose from. You have the private medical centers, I mean the private hospitals, and you have the government owned. And choosing the government owned in Ghana is not a case of, it's not like you have to patronize the private because that is the only thing available no the government is doing amazing and like i said before in one of my videos i don't know which one i think the last video where i reacted to to a private hospital i talked about time yeah that's the only price you may pay if you want to patronize the government hospital that is because they have so many people like you you save time you consume you give your time you get discount like a lot of people are on the queue no matter the time of the day you go there are other people that may have gotten there before you so you may be a bit like that can take some time for it to get to your turn or if you're lucky enough to be there on time aside that I'm, i don't see the need for the private hospitals i don't but i know some people don't want to have anything to do with anything government and all that the private got you and so this is what it looks like if you are around a brewery please if you're around a quapim and you have updates give me regarding this hospital i will be happy to read from you i will be happy to see it seriously the Ghanaian government is doing amazing and like i said earlier it's not just about the massive hospitals i have shared my stories here over and over how my little sister gave birth how myself my kids and all that i have talked about that here in my other videos so it's not just the pretty buildings you're looking at it's not the massive buildings or the tastefully equipped 
hospitals you're looking at the doctors are competent i had this issue back then when i came to ghana sometimes ago and when was this i think 2019 or there about was it 2019 i went to a hospital around la area labadi that is around usu and i was suffering from throat infection and i have been taking antibiotics i've been taking ampiclos i mean i've been taking the strongest antibiotics and all that i go in and out of the pharmacies around usu if you know you know that some of the pharmacies at Osu, especially the ones at Otford, at Otford, Otford, at Osford Street, they have best top. They have top medic medication in their stores. They have some of the best medications in their stores, right? I have been in and out of these places, and I wasn't getting better. So I finally decided to go to the hospital and try. So I went and I registered back then i paid 50 cities for the card and to see a doctor because that was my first time and when it got to my turn when it got to my turn they asked me what i have been taking and i told them oh my elder sister is a nurse i called her back home in nigeria and i've called her she told me what to take and all that so they were like they were not happy with me that i keep suffering for that long and i was just living on medication so the doctor started in my mouth you know that was i could see my throat through the computer that was there and the throat was badly like my throat was so bad it has like black lines it was so stressed i was scared myself because for some time i just wasn't feeling well and i was treating but i wasn't feeling well i can't eat i can't sleep the pain was just so much i thought i was going to die so the doctor said to me and he said to me next time don't go and sit down and call your nigerian sister uh, nurses when we have hospitals and health centers in Ghana that you can just walk into and he wrote something for me to go to the pharmacy at the hospital there and buy brethren I went there and I bought that thing it's just a pack of something like antibiotics and some other medication I spent a total of 90 cities on this medication and I got home I took it my dears I slept the whole day because I have not been sleeping for weeks i was dealing with this pain i have prayed and i thought maybe i was going to die but immediately i took that medication i felt relief that doctor still and my respect up to date so another time i came back to ghana with my daughter uh i was feeling sick again and i didn't know what was wrong with me so all the way from is Legon. I was at Ajingano, actually Boche. I had to come all the way from there to locate the same hospital because there was something that stick to my head. I thought it's only that place that they are good. So I got there and they said the hospital has been demolished. That hospital is La General Hospital. Ah, you know, okay, fine. I was directed to the polyclinic in La. I went all the tests were done on me and medication were prescribed because the doctor said since i couldn't find any material after all the tests were conducted no trace of malaria whatsoever every test was done the doctor said okay this time it's a female doctor we're going to do it this way go home and take malaria <laughs> medicine and combined with this she wrote i went to the pharmacy picked up that day i spent about 70 cities on medication now i can't remember how much i paid to see a doctor at the polyclinic yeah but it wasn't as high as the, uh, it wasn't up to 50 cities and i went back from there to uh, Charlie Boche. i took the medication and i got well from there after some time i went to nigeria so what i'm trying to say is it's not just the beautiful hospitals you see the massive buildings they are competent doctors it's not just the equipment the doctors are good I won't stop like seriously I won't stop testifying about good things I may not share my struggles in Ghana that is because there are things that I can avoid to understand I don't want to deal with some energy I don't and I know a normal person can avoid it so if I'm focusing on the good good is because they are more good than good than bad what is the bad in Ghana if you don't want to have any contact with the outside 
with people outside you don't have to because you can stay in your home order for food you can stay in your home electricity is 24 7 no heat to say okay i want to run outside you can stay in your home and do so many things and going outside is not bad you don't run into evil people maybe you run into a taxi driver that will want to exploit you because you are new to the area because you are new to the area not even the country because i have seen Ghanaians deal with this issue of a taxi man wanting to get more from them to take more from them than is due than than they should and i see that argument going on and i'll be like ah, i thought it's only me because i'm foreigner they say for we are these people no good that is the only issue you may encounter here and of course with the fact that cost of living here is not that cheap and that is if you choose to live in a crowd or other parts of ghana affordable to live in and the reason for that might be for the health insurance any country that has good health care system on ground check that country is expensive to live in the cost of living will be high not skyrocketly high so I'll always bring you guys the good because they are more good in Ghana than bad. What is the bad in Ghana? Because I don't know it. Yeah, I don't know it because myself, I don't have a problem. That was okay. I complain about everything. I'm, I'm easily pleased and I love it. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.